if they are operating close to shore, but the threat is manageable. Nonetheless, US and South Korean naval shows need to keep on their toes, otherwise, they could find themselves ambushed and suffer the fate of Rox Chiamin, PCC-772. The Pohang-class corvette was sunk by a North Korean mini-submarine armed with CHT-02D wake homing torpedoes on March 26, 2010 in an unprovoked attack. Pyongyang's mini-submarines are one of the bigger threats facing U.S. and South Korean sailors operating near North Korea's shore. The threat can be mitigated however. It's a risk that could be mitigated by 1. Taking them out preemptively, if not already at sea, or 2. Not coming in close, analyst Brian McGrath. Managing director of the Ferry Bridge Group Naval Consultancy told the national interest. They are a manageable threat. But North Korea also possesses a large fleet of conventional submarines, which could pose a potential threat to Allied naval operations. Underwater forces are composed of about 70 Romeo-class submarines and submersibles, reads a South Korean Ministry of National Defense white paper from 2014. The mission of these underwater forces is to disrupt sea lanes of communication, lay mines, attack surface vessels, and support the infiltration of special operation forces. In particular, North Korea is improving its capability for underwater attacks, as it appears to be building new types of submarines and submersibles, including a new submarine that can carry ballistic missiles. Following the development of new torpedoes, the North Korean conventional submarine fleet is more of a nuisance than anything else. Their large number of small diesel submarines can complicate maritime operations, but not in a really prohibitive manner. Jerry Hendricks, the director of the Defense Strategy in the Session, has announced that the new America threat makers to our allies in South Korea and Japan. Larger deals to emphasize will be the disturbance in the global economy when the United States plays China responsible for their final state action. Meanwhile, North Korea is a state of primarily built for defending its place and potentially supporting its ground forces during amphibious operations. Surface forces are mainly composed of small, high-speed vessels such as guided missile boats, torpedo boats, patrol boats, and fire support patrol craft that will carry out missions supporting ground forces very much in connection with ground operations, as well as coastal defense missions to South Korea like the ones. In particular, North Korea is a new world in coastal areas for landing. Essentially, while the North Korean Navy is not an existential threat, it should not be taken lightly. If Allied forces are not careful, Pyongyang's naval forces can still inflict damage.